Hello, everyone. My name is Fu Hong Zhao. I'm a PhD student from UC Santa Barbara. Today, I'm going to present our work, KL plus minus, approximate quantile sketches over dynamic data sets. This work was done in collaboration with Sajaya, Ryan, Professor Agro, and Professor Badi. Quantile is an important statistical measurement. 0.5 quantile, also known as the medium, is very robust. The generalization of medium leads to different quantiles. Quantile is a fundamental technique for data analysis, and it is often used to summarize data distributions. Some of the applications include financial services, value range database partitioning, and monitoring network and database activities. Let's first define what rank and quantiles are. Rank of an item X is the total number of items that are less or equal to X. Quantile Q returns an item X such that the rank of X is equal to Q times the total number of items in the data set. In this example, rank of two is five, and quantile of 0 0.5 is two, since two is a medium. Imagine we want to summarize a very large data set that is being updated very frequently with inserts and deletes. We desire a one-pass algorithm that can process each item exactly once and output accurate statistical information. In 1980, Monroe and Patterson showed that to compute the true medium in one pass requires linear space. But how about approximation? With the requirements of using sublinear space, providing cumulable guarantee and one pass of, of all operations, can we approximate the quantiles with high confidence? In this example, can we say rank of two is about three? Medium is approximately 10. Through, through the past three decades of research, several algorithm, algorithms have been proposed and operate in different models. In the insertion-only model, the input only consists of insertions. Some of the famous sketches operate in the insertion-only model are GK sketch, QDigest, and KLL. In the turnstile model, the inputs consist of both insertions and deletions, where deletions were previously inserted. Some of the well-known sketches operate in the turnstile model are range subset sum, dietic count mean, and dietic count sketch. Recently, an intermediate model, the bounded deletion model was proposed, such that the number of deletions is bounded by one minus one, minus one or alpha number of insertions. By setting alpha to one, one minus one over alpha becomes zero. Hence the mo model becomes insertion only. Our proposed KL plus minus operates in the bounded division model. The basic structure is an array of buffers. Each buffer has level, capacity, and weight, where capacity and weight are determined by level. Initially, there's only one level with capacity of K. After processing K inputs, the buffer becomes full and leads to a compaction. The full buffer will be sorted and half of the elements will be pushed to the higher level buffer with doubled weight. In this example, a new buffer needs to be created. The topmost buffer always has capacity of K and each, level, each lower level decreases capacity by a constant factor, factor of C where C is in between 0 0.5 and 1. This data structure is used in many well-known algorithms. To support deletions, we propose the conditional compaction process. Our previous compactions are stored the buffer and then push half of the elements. In KL plus minus, we buffer the delete. The conditional compaction process is, we first store the buffer, if there are any DD insert pairs, we discard them and return. Otherwise, we push half of the elements. The return after discard operation is crucial. Discard operation does not introduce any rank error and will create new free spaces. 
return after discard will ensure the push operation is performed on a full buffer. So here's an, an example. Item one to eight are inserted, and then item seven, three, two, and one are deleted. After processing the first six insertions, level zero buffer becomes full and needs to undergo a compaction. Uh, after, the, after the compaction, items in the even indices are being pushed to level one buffer. Level zero buffer decreases its capacity to four, and after storing the next four items, it becomes full again. In the next compaction, we can see there is a matching neg negative seven and seven. So, so they can be discarded, which created two more new free spaces to negative two and negative one. The last compaction will push negative two to level one buffer and note negative one and eight are now being, are now being pushed since they have there are different operations. After processing all operations, the true data sets contain four, five, six, and eight. And our estimation is negative one, two, four, two, six, and one, eight. The true rank for item five is two, where in our estimated rank, it is one. So it is off by one. For the rank of other items, four, six, and eight, we accurately approximate their frequent, uh, their rank. So um, what are some benefits in operating in the bounded deletion model? One important benefit is that KL plus minus does not rely on the assumption of a bounded universe and leads to a smaller space, space bound and faster update time compared to sketches in the turnstile model. Each compaction may introduce plus minus W with zero rank error for buffer with weight of W. By pushing even indices for all indices randomly, the expected rank becomes zero. Since the expected rank error is zero, we can bound the total error with whole infidence inequality, and hence it leads to a smaller, uh, smaller space bounds, which is independent of the universe size. We also showcase an algorithm for fixed size sliding window quantile approximation, where new items are inserted and outdated items are deleted. In this video, the window size is 1,000. The input is sorted random integers from range one to 5,000, and the sketch space is 64. The blue dots are approximations and the yellow line is the true distribution. We can see the approximation is quite accurate. One might be curious about why there are few blue dots at the very beginning. Those are the traces left out by deletions. So for more details, it is described in the, in the paper. Some experiment highlighted with more insertions leads to less accuracy. But we can increase the sketch space to tolerate those deletions. Essentially, increasing space leads to vector accuracy across all different dis data distribution. A note with 90% of deletions, KL plus minus still has more accurate estimation compared to the state of the art data count sketch when both sketches use the same space. In summary, we'll present the first randomized quantile sketch KL plus minus in the bounded deletion model. We showcase how to reduce update time in KL plus minus by incorporating an optimization strategy from a previous algorithm. We, we apply KL plus minus sketches to maintain approximate quantile estimation in the fixed sliding window over data sets. Thanks for listening to my talks.